Good morning, everybody. Faith Girl Trevor here. I uh, just wanted to bring you into my experience this morning. I'm out walking on the beach, was able to make it to see the sunrise. Isn't it just amazing and awesome what God creates for us to enjoy? Um, as I was here yesterday, and we were just standing on the beach and I was kind of standing in the water to let the waves hit my legs and my feet. And I just began to start to cry tears of joy, no tears of sadness, happiness over here. I'm just thinking about God's goodness and what he's done for me. It was just overwhelming joy to be able to walk in freedom, walk in peace, when most of my life seems to have been in turmoil, um, pain or trouble, um, but just be at that place of peace and be able to enjoy my life. Um, some of the things that I notice um, as I am walking on the beach now, the waves are pretty big. And as they come up on the shore, I've kind of had to brace myself um, so that I don't fall, <laughs> fall over um, because some of them are hitting pretty hard. But regardless of the matter, it doesn't make me stop. I keep going, trying to press through um, so I can get to my destination. I don't know if you can really see it. The sun's pretty bright. But back there at that last building there is where the pier is. And so every time I come here, my destination is to make it to the pier. And it takes me about an hour and a half or so because normally I start at mark 15. Um, I'm currently at mark number nine. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'm at mark number nine. So I've been walking for about 45 minutes now. Um, so I'm trying to make it to that destination. My ankles are kind of hurting right now, but I've got a goal to reach. I'm pressing toward my mark. Um, another thing that I noticed while walking on the beach was the seashells um, and some of the seashells were broken. Some of the seashells were in pieces. I love seashells, um, love the beach. But what I want to encourage you is that no matter how many times that you've been broken, um, God can take all the broken pieces in your life and put them together to make a masterpiece. And that's what he's wanting to do, but we have to be willing to give God all the pieces. We have to be willing to let him have it. Um, sometimes, you know, it's hard. We think it's better to hold on when actually it takes more energy to hold on versus to let go. But if we can let go and just let God do what he has to do and wants to do in our life, we will be better on the end. Um, one thing with the waves is, you know, storms come in our life, life happens, and sometimes those waves, they come pretty hard. Sometimes um, before I even came here, it had already rained and I almost got discouraged with not coming to the beach because I was like, I don't want to get caught out there in the rain, but I felt the need to go anyway. And sometimes we can look at the storms that come in our lives and we can become discouraged and want to stop, but we got to keep going because the thing about a storm is they don't come to stay. They come to pass. They're only temporary. And aren't you glad that after the gray clouds and after the storm has passed, the sun will shine again. 
So I need to encourage you, in spite of your brokenness, in spite of the pain, whether you caused it, whether somebody else caused it, um, the sun will shine again and you can make it, but you have to be determined to continue to press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus. If I can do it, you can do it. And I want to take you with me. So get up. Come on, let's do this together. What's coming is better.